It ended with a crashing loss to India in the second test. Just the third time in test cricket history a team has followed on, then gone on to win. Here's how the day unfolded. As the final day of this epic test match broke, the question of Indian declaration now arose. Laxman's remarkable innings ending on 281. Seen a lot of great test innings. This one probably the latest. But no declaration, just a signal from Ganguly to get a move on. Oh, he's had a go at that one, way over the top, it's in the air, will it be caught? Oh, it's dropped, it's dropped. Mongia bowled by McGrath shortly after and still no declaration. Ganguly is uh, making this, he's dragging this out now too long. Dravid was run out for 180, what but the Indians played on. Finally Ganguly calling his men in, leaving the Aussies a target of 384 for their 17th straight test win. Neither time nor the wearing pitch was on the Aussie side. And has that come back? What an off cutter. By lunch, the tourists survived a couple of close calls, but showed no signs of attacking the massive target, with a draw looking likely. But after the break, some hope of a contest as Slater picked up the tempo. Slater down the wicket, over the top he goes. Well, it was short and sweet though, Australia one for 74. Yeah! Now that's close, the finger has gone up. Justin Langer arrived and picked it up another again, notch, 28 off 19 balls. That's a big hit. That'll go all the way for six. He too unable to stay for long. The Indian keeper then a victim of the fading pitch. Mongia forced from the ground. Mark War also a victim. The ball skidding on, trapping him for a duck. Oh, that's got to be close, yes. Three for 116. Steve War again called on to dig Australia out of a hole. And given a life on five. And after tea, the match came alive. First innings hero, Harbhajan Singh, striking twice in the one over. In the air. First ball in the next, Tendulkar with this. And it's a big shout and he's out. First ball, first innings, first ball, second innings. And he mightn't have done much with the bat, but the little master was now doing it with the ball. What will the umpire do? Give it out. Wrapped on the pads, yeah, the finger has gone up. Very then Singh put the locals within a wicket of victory. A long, lonely walk to the middle for Glenn McGrath. He and Kasperwicz needing to survive for at least 13 overs to salvage a draw. The tail enders gutsed it out. The crowd on the edge of their seats. And with just a little more than six overs, all their moment came. Oh, he's patted that. Oh, he's given him. He's given him. Umpire Bunsell's given him. That's India winning one of the most astonishing test matches ever and only the third team in history to win after being forced to follow on. Yes, yeah, simply an amazing test match. India's first hat trick, test hat trick, their highest ever individual test match score, and any other number of records you care to mention. Harbhajan Singh took 13 wickets for the match. For Stephen Waugh, there's barely time to catch his breath before the third and final test in Chennai. We didn't fight that well today. I mean, we knew what we had to do to draw the game, and we weren't quite good enough. So we've got to go back to the drawing board, have a look at uh, how we got out, and try and rectify that in a couple of days' time. Well, it's a it's a big, big victory. You know, coming back from behind, down by 350 runs, and then taking a lead by 370, and then getting them all out in a day's time, it's it's, it's probably going to boost the morale of the side, and it's been fantastic. Uh, the team cause was most important for me, and I had to just hang on there and play a long innings, especially in the second innings. So I'm glad that my innings has helped the team to win the Test match. To a crashing end in Calcutta. Having sent India into bat again, the tourists were left with the formidable target of 384 for victory. But when the middle order collapsed, it became purely a matter of survival. Australia all out for 212. Again, Harbhajan Singh was the star of the bowling, taking six wickets. The best of three test series is now tied at one apiece. The decider starts Sunday. The final day began with Laxman on 275 and he added just six before bowing out. Ganguly seemed to be in two minds about whether to declare and India batted on, losing Mongia and then Dravid run out for a gallant 180. India finally declared an hour before lunch at seven for 657. Australia needed 384 for victory and Hayden and Slater adopted a cautious approach Australia 24 without loss at lunch. Slater stepped up the run rate in the second session, hitting three boundaries in the one over. And another one that's four as well. 
and taking Australia past the 50 mark. Slater down the wicket, over the top he goes. But then on 43, he fell to Harbhajan Singh. Now that's close, the finger has gone up. Langer wasted no time in adding to the total. That's a big hit. That'll go all the way for six. And again, the result the same, this is a bigger one. But Harbhajan was getting the most from the pitch. It's up in the air, taken. Australia two for 106. Harbhajan's off spinners also managed to get Mongia's nose out of joint. Not a pleasant sight, but let's hope that he's okay. When Mark Wall went LBW for a duck, the need to survive became paramount. Brother Steve had a few nervous moments. Once again, a big song and dance out there. And Hayden plugged away to reach 50. After tea, Harbhajan Singh had Steve Waugh in trouble. Yeah, and got him. He's out. Australia 4 for 166. Waugh was Harbhajan's 10th wicket for the match. Ponting lined up as number 11. And again, has he hit it? He has! It became imperative for Gilchrist to make a stand, but he didn't. And it's a big shout, he's out! Australia reeling at 6 for 167, having lost three wickets for one run. With 28 overs left to bat out, Gillespie was promoted up the order, but Hayden's was the wicket the Indians most wanted. That's in his back leg. What will the umpire do? Give him out! The tourists stranded at 7 for 173 and forced to put all their hopes in the tail enders. Shane Warne may be the master of leg spin, but Tendulkar had a few tricks up his sleeve. Wrapped on the pads, yeah, the finger has gone up. He didn't pick up the googly. The Indian team closed in for victory. Kasparowicz joining Gillespie on the barricades. When Gillespie fell... Oh, and that's got it. I think he's got it. Yes, he's got it. That's the end of Gillespie. McGrath walked out to fill the breach. If the lanky fast bowler was under pressure, he didn't show it. Oh, and he swept that one away nonchalantly down to the boundary for four. The last wicket stand had to survive just another seven overs, and the tension increased as Stumps drew near. But then this. Oh, he's given him! He's given him! Umpire Bunsell's given him! That's the end of the test match! India claiming the sweetest of victories and becoming the third team ever to win a test after being sent in to follow on.